What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the sound, well, you've come to the right place. You know what I'm gonna do when this channel really kicks off? Camping. I'm gonna go camping, because I never got to go camping in my life. For God's sake, all I want to do is get out of this hellhole we call a city and enjoy some nature while we still got it. Because let's face it, it's only a matter of time before America just becomes one gigantic city like a Coruscant from Star Wars. Then we'll be forced to go camping through government mandated VR headsets. I hate it here, man. But you know what I found out? There are so many different ways to camp. Camping in a tent, camping in a truck, camping in water, pretending to camp even though this totally ain't camping. Like seriously, the point of camping is that you're roughing it in nature. But no, that's apparently too much for some people to handle because they need access to all their luxuries. Just stay in the damn city if you're not gonna do it for real. Typical of these city slickers. Although, I live in the city so I guess I can't use that term, can I? But today, friends, I found a new way to camp using plastic wrap. I hate it here man all right i'm sorry for stopping the video so soon but what is this chick wearing rocking that crop top in this heavily wooded area because obviously protection from the various protruding branches bug bites or potentially dangerous plants like poison ivy is not a concern at all when you take a trip to the middle of a freaking forest All right, so now she's taking some plastic wrap and she's wrapping it around the trees, I guess. I like how they included that part, you know, as if to say, well, we're needlessly polluting the environment by using all this plastic for some reason, let's just throw a bunch of cardboard tubes around while we're at it. I guess there's no cops around to give you a ticket for it, so uh, why not, why not just litter just a little bit, I guess. Okay, so she made a hammock out of plastic wrap. Why, exactly? You could've just bought a hammock from a store, you could've set it up a hell lot faster than just wrapping plastic around the trees, and well, it's a lot faster to clean up too. I mean, you wanna take down a hammock, it's easy, just a few straps and you're down. Here you gotta get through all these layers of plastic, you're gonna spend as much time taking it down as much as you did putting it up. And then you're gonna have to find a garbage can to put all that plastic inside, which there aren't any garbage cans in the forest, so you're just gonna have to hold on to this giant bowl of plastic. Wait, th there's more? Are you kidding me? Have you not wasted enough plastic? For God's sake, woman, we've got enough plastic sitting around in landfills and here you are using it just because you want clicks on a video. I mean, seriously, I feel like people don't appreciate how hard plastic is to dispose of. I learned it could take 500 years for it to fully decompose or it gets burned and it pollutes the air. How ironic, you wrap plastic on trees to enjoy the environment and all you're doing is just destroying it. Oh my god, that just hurts my soul. The fact they included a scene where it shows all those rolls of plastic getting used up, they probably thought that that, that looked so cool, but nah, it's just, what a waste. You could use that plastic for something legitimately useful, like cooking or packaging something, but no, you use it to choke the environment with your sorry excuse of a camping project. And I mean, if you're gonna use this much plastic wrap, like, damn, I feel like it's just cheaper to buy a damn hammock. Like, I don't know how much 15 rolls of packaging plastic costs, but I'd bet it's way less than a freaking hammock or whatever. God, look at how proud she looks at herself. It moves me to a level of anger that I frankly never felt before. 
Look, all I'm saying is, if you're putting so much plastic on trees that you can literally bounce on it, I don't know, I feel like you're using too much plastic. As if you really need to use plastic on trees. Like, again, why are you using plastic? Just get a hammock. Am I evil for hoping that the plastic, like, breaks and tears and she falls on her hua? For God's sake, she's using even more plastic. I guess she's building a roof or whatever. Just get a tarp. Just put a tarp on top of your... Why am I trying to put logic into this? Oh, is that what she's doing? Making a tent? Uh, why? Why not just bring along an actual tent? In the time it took you to get this thing set up, I could have gotten a tent pitched and set up in like half the time. I genuinely don't get the point of this. You're working twice as hard to get this thing set up just to accomplish the same thing a tent would. Oh, but slick, it's five feet off the ground. It's suspended. Whoa, dude, that's so cool. While everyone else sleeps on the ground like a bunch of peasants, you get to sleep suspended in the air like a king. Oh wait, I can do that with a hammock, so you're not accomplishing anything. Man, no, I'm surprised she's not drinking out of a plastic bottle since she loves plastic so much. I mean, the irony here is palpable. I'd think she's doing it on purpose. Like, this video has to be a joke. It's gotta be a goof. A reusable water bottle inside of a plastic tent. Like, there's no way this is real. I'm going crazy. They're gonna have to take me to the funny farm, that's for sure. Could you actually imagine sleeping in that thing? I mean, there's practically no ventilation, so one of two things is gonna happen. One, you overheat. Two, you suffocate due to your own carbon emissions. And when you think about it, I feel like that's pretty ironic. Again, just get a tent and all of this gets solved. Just get a damn tent and you won't have to worry about oxygen or whatnot. Plus, you have this, like, big hole from which you can enter and exit. Alright, that's cool, I guess, but you can't close it. So you're gonna have a bunch of mosquitoes eating you alive as you try to sleep. Yeah, bet you wish you brought something other than that crop top, huh? Dude, what if this thing, like, collapses and you're just stuck with, like, two pieces of plastic between you? Like, this thing would become your tomb. You'd suffocate. This is like sleeping inside of a giant plastic bag. Like, we were taught as kids never to put plastic bags over our heads, and now this is what we're doing, apparently. I don't get it. I just don't understand. I'm telling you, these so-called life hacks are getting dumber by the day. Frankly, my day's been ruined after having seen this video, so I think I'm gonna finish it up here and call it a day. That's all I've got for Lishtick. Now, you guys do a jack your favor and uh, keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.